Hey guys, uh, there's a shot of the uh, breaker box after I've got a couple more things done. Uh, I'm doing a little another uh, system update. Uh, added another automatic switch so uh, when the batteries get to a certain level it'll switch the air conditioning on to solar and then when it drops the batteries down to where I want it'll switch the back to the grid. Uh, same thing uh, the well not the same thing the hot water heater works different it only go it works off of solar and then also I've got the system set up it's hybrid hybrid style where if the grid shuts off um, it won't activate the high draw devices like the water heater and it, it will shut the air conditioner off to where um, well uh, it'll only run off the solar when the batteries are in between the level that I want it to run. Uh, added a fuse here and then just put it in this little box with some extra fuses in there. And I just soldered it on there and taped it. A little two sided tape some extra fuses in there and uh, it's working out pretty good and then uh, added that outlet and uh, that with the timer that's the one that's running the hot water heater and uh, it's only coming on for about an hour a day and it just uh, keeps uh, the batteries from going too low in case it's been cloudy for a couple of days or whatever but generally almost always comes on I've always got hot water and that's for the air conditioner um, and uh, that's the one that pair, uh, powers the air conditioner relay there and uh, it just switches uh, the AC um, onto solar when the batteries get fairly full and uh, what's really cool is I have total control of all the voltage parameters when it switches on when it switches off um, and uh, so because things have changed uh, since I got the added the batteries added these batteries uh, things have changed and I'm gonna add some more solar panels so things will probably change uh, but the way I used to use the hot water heater was to just bleed off extra power now I've got these batteries uh, it takes a uh, perfect day for them to even get fully charged so uh, but there's so much extra power to use at night it's I'm totally off the grid now uh, my whole house runs off the grid pretty much 24-7 uh, that's hot water TV fans lights everything but the air conditioner uh, and that'll get in also three to six hours of air conditioning just depending on how much solar is out uh, but I still have uh, another unit to get and uh, I have 12 more panels so once I series the two units together get another 60 amps of solar coming in and uh, I got another line on some more used batteries uh, another set of these down here so I might be adding another 110 amp hours to the system so just another little system update that's where we're at